<sighs> I'm Dark Minded Sith. And this is quite surreal. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when we were at Grunny's doorstep like this, but. We are finally here, my friends. Welcome to Cauldron Keep. Grunty's, I guess, second lair of sorts. We've seen it in the cutscene at the beginning of the game. Oh boy. How are we gonna get all the way to the top of that? And that laser. It's been threatening us since the beginning of the game. Well, let's penetrate Grunty's impenetrable new fortress, shall we? How tough will it be to get through these defenses? Well, let's not forget Banjo's sack pack. And look at that, a banjo switch. Um, I don't really know what Grundy's behind-the-scenes process was here. I mean, I feel like she doesn't want to to have us come in because she has the drawbridge up and everything. But you know, if you're trying to keep us out, maybe don't have switches that we can use to open your door. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Oh, but there's a twist. There's a laser barrier behind the drawbridge. Ooh. Yeah, <clears throat> we thought we fooled her. How are we ever going to get across those lasers? Hmm. Welp, in platformers like this, you always have to go around to the back side. And look at this, what do you think you're doing? We have saved all the Jinjos. You're not fooling me, man. Oh. Okay, so we just step on a switch with both our heads on it. Yeah, you get out of here. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed, Grunny. Um, you know, no cronies. No firing squad. No last threat. Alright, well. If you want us, we're gonna just waltz on in here, Grunny. Alright. Here we are. Let's face off with the, uh... Hi, Kazooie. There doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. Ah, Grungo must defeat Mistress Grunty Castle. Don't you ever learn? Clungo Clever learned less as learned no motion. Is that a useless as all the others? Yes, but Clungo means no as when this time Mr. Sweet made a monster. Oh, a green potion. So now Clungo is going to bring back his magic. Yep, looks like he did that. Clungo is now invisible. Uh oh. Alright, so this is Clungo Round 3, the final Clungo fight to end all Clungo fights. Clungo must redeem himself, or else he will be fed to a monster. We don't want that to happen, so I'm just not gonna fight him. Because I like Clungo. Unfortunately, we've got an objective ahead of us, so. So, in my file, our final fight is with Klungo being invisible, but it'll be in your file whichever magic spell he has not done yet. His other ones were making clones and getting bigger, so whichever of these he hasn't done yet, that's the one he'll do. So I usually just kind of shoot grenade eggs when I find him, because for me that's the quickest way to fight him. If he's right beside me, I'll just peck him, but also his aiming has gotten a lot better. Klungo practice throwing softballs. Oh. Uh. notice something happening after fights with Baron Bird. And that is? Klungo gets less and less handsome. Now Miss Klungo won't want me anymore. Klungo had enough. Few 
future prospects not good with Mistress Grunty. No chance of promotion, no days off, no pay. Klungo go find easy desk job, maybe make stupid games. Alright, so Klungo's gonna go work for Microsoft. It's not a good place, man. That place ruins game franchises. Don't, don't do it, Klungo. Alright, so not much to that fight. You just have to really pay attention. But I gotta say, I'm not big on paying attention. This entire game I've gone through and I've barely paid attention to anything. But that's not gonna come back to bite me at all, right? Yeah, I'm screwed. Because I have to do her voice. Ugh. Thank you, thank you! I'm Grunty, your host! And may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy Quiz! Let me run through the rules for you all! There are three rounds of general knowledge questions! And the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated! Correct answer score two points, with one point being awarded. If it was a second guess, following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Get one wrong, and I'll take two points off you. Press B to buzz in, and then A to answer if you can. Now let's meet tonight's victim. Uh, I mean contestants, shall we? Introducing on the left. It's my gorgeous slim sister, Mangela. Happy to be here, I am! My lovely, er, shapely sister, Blumpelda. I hope the grand prize is cake! Ah, uh, here's just some loser bear called Banjo. Let's start with round one! Alright, here we go. What is the name of the frozen explorer? I know that, that's... That's Saberman. Dagger Chap? <laughs> Alright, off to a good start. Color or banjo shorts. Um, hey, <laughs> are you blind? Well, let me answer that. Uh, yeah, I can barely see it over the other side. So. Yeah, they're yellow. What do you have to shoot in side shot? Ulcers. Ulcers. Eh. Represented with Canary Mary. They're very fitting. She definitely is very representative of, of ulcers. That's for sure. Alright, now these are kind of tough. They're not really just what world is it, it's usually something specific, like how many of something. Maybe it isn't. Let's see. Where do you first meet your prospect or partner? That is prison, I guess. Yeah. Prison compound game. Get it right. Spelled as mum from Hellfire Peaks. No! You weren't there, you don't know. It's not sunlight. It's life for storm cloud. That'd be cool. I mean, I guess it's just a storm, but this game does not have a refrigerator magnet. Oh god. Um, I guess banjo, cause yeah, cause those are the Easter eggs. They wouldn't have an Easter egg of that. So banjo kazooie. All right, let's pay close attention to this. Okay, that's the toxic cave. I don't think that's the one Canary Mary's in. I think it's, like, more yellow-looking, but, um... I mean, you have the crates for open? Oh. Ah, whatever. We'll let you have that one, I guess. What color are the normal blue eggs? Gee, uh... <laughs> okay. What had the prospect or boss in Glitter Gulch? Mine, his partner, his pickaxe. Lost his partner, actually, with a D. And, uh, cannon plants, represented by the one white Jinjo. Or maybe it's a ghost of a gray Jinjo. I don't know. Take a look at this scene. Okay. Let's see, that's uh, inside Chomposaurus's belly. I don't know what else they would ask, other than how many cells there are right there. <laughs> Uh, it's Chompasaurus. Inside... Oh, wait. Could be the big fish. No, I think it's Chompas... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't... I think... I think inside the fish was kind of, like, more just red-looking. I don't know. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, you! Mr. I was in this fine game. Okay. Let's see. Is she gonna ask just who it is? Uh, what's the color of the pirate's necktie? God! Red? Uh, eh. Yellow, maybe. I think it was white. Oh, I can't can't answer now. Just try, you have 50-50 shot. God, blah be blah belba. Even trying? Alright, so that's round one. <laughs> well I got fourteen, so. Stickers are waste. <laughs> so I keep... Well, it could always be in the negatives. Alright, you get a consolation prize. What is it, the Frunny doll? Oh god! She's dead! You killed your sister. Why would you do that? What was crushed in Glitter Gulch Mines Crescent Shed? Well, Blah Belba. No. Well, I practically was, so. But yeah, we'll go with a big boulder. I'll get the polar bear to give an upslip. Let me finish the question. That's not even the answer. Maybe you would have known the answer if you would have read the whole freaking question. Yeah, let's watch TV. Not read magazines, like he can read. Okay. What is here? Oh my god, that's uh, like one of the underwater cave kind of areas in Jolly Roger, I think. Um, what monster is this carbon elf? Chopasaur? Terry? Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that was in uh, Pterodactyl Land somewhere. Oh, I know this one, but Super Banjo Land 64. Wow, I want to play that, but... No, it was Diddy Kong Racing, actually. Which event would you not complete? The Diddy Kong Racing Land's Athlete. The... What? Oh. Which one would you not complete? I don't know. Guess I read that wrong. Well, oh well. No one got it, so. Area does not exist in Terry. It's the hatchery. The hatchery! You haven't been there, you don't know. It's no wonder you're getting all these wrong, you don't know any of this stuff. Maybe they do, I don't know. What would Banjo do if you pressed the A button? Jump! I know that. It's a platformer, of course I know that. What are similar looking arch enemies of the Jinjos? Ah. Uh, the Dingbos, of course. No, it's the Minjos. You have one right outside your cauldron keep, do you know that? It's not an entire depth. Ah! It's the text. How, how, how did you know that, Ninjala? What the heck is that? That's nothing! There's no way you know that! What the hell?! There's nothing there! Anyway... You got lucky. Oh god! That's Terry, but... What are you gonna ask? How many mountains there are? Let me see... Okay, Terry. Represented by a boss that wasn't Terry. Different ways into the factory and bring it. Oh, good god almighty, who knows. Thirteen, no? Uh, I guess eleven, maybe. Don't even act like you know, Ninjala. You don't, you don't know. Eh, lucky guess. There's no way you knew that. Like she was sitting there thinking about it. Alright, take a look at this. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, eight steps to the ladder. Yeah. Ah, screw you. Anyway. Well, I win anyway, so. Jella has also been beaten. I'm not so useless. I pay attention. That's all. See you in hell, I will! Alright, well now what? There's no more contestants. 
Uh, she's changing the rules. She's altering the deal. Pray she doesn't alter it anymore. Or any further. Answer. Okay, so I'm having a solo game here. Or I can pass. Alright, let's see how many I can get. I need a bad luck. Let's play indeed. It's the final round. Alright. What is the name of the pawnbroker? It's Pono. Apart from D. Jones, all the lockers are uh, developers. Um, and famous movie stars. Well, they might have been. Who knows? But fairground fast food is not available in the world. Well, burgers and fries. So, donuts. Yeah, I can't see donuts being served there. I don't know. Full name of Cloud Cuckoo Lens Flotus. Flotus Flotium. Jetsum. That's their arch enemies. It's the Minjos of the Flotus Flotiums. King Jingle. Master Jig Jag. Jiggy Wiggy. Oh, they tried to throw me off by having his head there, though. Which is a weapon used by the flat bad guys. Candy cane, a banana, it's a candy cane. They don't use any of that crazy baseball stuff. Um, that is Levitate. A thousand year curse. Can he do that? I don't know. He's, he's good, but I don't know if he's that good. You already asked me this. It's Terry. Don't ask me the same question. There's so much you could ask me. Uh, it's 1984. Yeah. Good year. How many letters are there? In the name of Andrew, two, three, that's what, five, that's ten? Less than ten, more than nine. Okay. Yay, math! What is this, brain age? One of these Bobby's kids. Goggles. Tizzers? Nope. Some of these wrong answers. <laughs> What's the color of Boggy the Bowler? Bread, bread, bread. Uh, it's like Banjo Kazooie themed. Red. Eh. Eh, whatever. Who knows? We'll never know. What is wrong with the dinosaur? Um, I had a stomach, stomach cramp. A broken neck? I hope not. A long neck he has. Giant footed on it. Stomp on it, Don. <laughs> Steposaurus. Sounds like a working name. Oh, I know this one, man. Jinga Minga! It's probably Minji Jongo's wife. She's gonna come back for revenge. Characters were involved in the opening story. This one. Sisters. Yeah, six, right? No. Banjo Kazooie. Okay, it would have been seven. I counted Banjo and Kazooie as one character. And I didn't even read that question, so, whatever. <laughs> Which Banjo Kazooie character is found on the side of that? Uh, the Long Lost 2D. Or Burn Tilda. No, none, none of those characters it listed were in this game, so. That's the end of the final round! What a useless score! Uh, what's wrong with this scoring system? It must be broken! You can't have gotten that many points! No, 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 no! I declared the win invalid due to faulty equipment! Oh dear. So what happens now? I don't know. Any ideas? You can escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. Yes, I could. Thanks, Birdbrain! Fortunately, I've built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time. But this time, you'll be the ones taking the fall! See you there, Grundy. Right. Come on, Kazooie. Let's go and see where that door just opened leads to. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet. That's true. Okay, let's go. Die! 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 Die!